Hello and welcome back to Fair City Gaming. I'm your host Kev and we are back with some more Dark Souls. So after finally getting past Ornstein and Smau, we've uh, basically passed the hardest part of the game. We're well over the halfway point as well at this point. So what I'm going to look to do now is do a bit of picking up. Well, we've well, I've been off camera as well. Uh, went back to the depths and farmed up some humanity. Cause that's what you need to level up with the Chaos Covenant. So we'll just quickly finish handing that in. So we'll need that later. So our reward for defeating Ornstein and Smau was to get the Lord Vessel, which allows us to warp between selected bonfires. The Lord Vessel has a specific place it needs to be put. Let's just dump that for now. So, let's Rested in that fire, I should have just used the homeward bone. So, we're gonna go down to the dark root basin, which is the doorway where Havel was at the bottom of the tower at the end of the undead burg. There's an enemy down there we need to defeat. And then once he's been defeated, another one appears once you reload the area. We'll rest here. So while we're running through here, that there just in case. Now we're actually in a position where we could help other players. This is one of the few areas of the game that we're likely to still receive. It's because this is obviously the f well, chronologically it's the first area of the game. Once you've got to the hub. That's enough of that. It was unlikely anyway. choose to stand and fight these guys but while you're trying to dodge these magical projectiles it's not 
the most sensible way to approach things. Normally the magic from that Hydra takes care of them. Not this time, it's nice. Okay, now we can take care of that. Hand. Easiest way to die here is to run right to that edge. So we want to be here. Let the heads come down. If you're too far away, he'll just keep on keep spamming that projectile attack. <sighs> now that we're only got the two heads remaining as well, we don't have to worry about too much. Blocking. We do have to, however, worry about how we're going to hit the thing. Totally infuriated.
Oh. Not to this time, though, you bugger. Okay, so normally you would then go away, reload the area, and then you go into that cavern there, there's a new enemy. So we're just gonna quickly go out. He wasn't there previously. I have to reload the area. Like a slightly bigger version of the dudes we were fighting before. Before the Hydra. So, it is thou who rescued me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseal. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseal, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? Yeah, sure. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then She'll sell some engrave my signature sorceries that you can't access from other vendors. And they're really good. May the great flames go um, me. A really good one that would have been handy for us would have been the cast light spell, but unfortunately. We have zero use for well any magic really. Like we can use soul arrow, which does 14 damage. Really not worth it. Hello. I am Dusk of Ulysseal. It is an honor to see thee again. I shall follow thine wishes. We only have 10 intelligence and these all require 14. And this catalyst requires 12 to wield, which is, I think it's one of the lower ones, and it has a really good scaling for low level sorceries but again unfortunately it's no use so we'll take our gesture um, 
If thou art in need, I wish to be of assistance. May the flames guide her set appears right here as well if I remember correctly. So, uh, one more time. The reason we want to see if we can get her set is, if I remember correctly, it's got really good magic defense, which is going to help us with one of the lords. No prompts at all in game, it would just be pure luck you happen to come this way. This is actually also where you access the DLC if you have it. I do not. There we go. So we'll just bail out there. So I'd mentioned in the last video that I think I forgot to advance Siegmeier's quest. So we'll head back to lovely Anne Orlando. Unfortunately the bonfire where Soler was is not warpable. You just have to go this way. Take the long way around through the room of despair. And again, just on the off chance, we'll fire that down there. Run. Now, the black eyes, the item that we found on the murdered corpse of our firekeeper in Firelink. And using that item there allows you to invade the world of the one that killed her. There's an item I'd like to get before we, we do that that will make it a little bit easier for us. I'm thinking we're going to try it anyway just to see if it Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Missed. Bail out. Retreat. Risky. Hmm. What's on your mind? Wait. You defeated those monsters? Fantastic. I'm saved. This knight of Katarina hereby commends you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Thanks. But be warned, gallantry entails great risk. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. Um. But be warned. Okay.
And one of the main reasons I don't think I'm quite ready to go and take on her Firekeeper's murderer is that when you invade another world, or if you're summoned into another world, you don't get any Estus, you have to heal through other means. We'll see how we go. So, we'll need all of that. Unfortunately, we only have that. And using a humanity for uh, health. Neither of those are particularly good options. Beat it. Top, of course, it is. So, the reason this is included is to give the, the offline user a taste of PvP. And it's an accurate taste at that because there is not one, not two, but three enemies to fight. Quite often in PvP, that is the odds that you will face. That was underwhelming. Never mind. So now we can return to Firelink and return our Firekeeper to life. As mentioned before, you can use Firekeeper Souls to level up your your Estus Flask, and you can also consume them to give yourself five humanity. But five humanity against leveling up your Estus Flask is it's not good maths, really, and there is only a limited number in the game. So I brought us down here because I forgot to show us this other alternative blacksmith. Mm. Hello, Forge I can. Strong I am. So this dude, as well as being able to lighten and reinforce, uh, reinforce weapons, is how you get boss weapons. Level up certain weapons up to level 10 and have the corresponding boss soul. boss weapon. But most of them in the game are not particularly good. His real benefit is that he sells twinkle, twinkling titanite and large titanite shards. He sells them really cheap compared to some of the other ones. 
forgot about that one in the corner there. I'll just run away from everything. You have to be careful not to use the Firekeeper Soul that you get from Lawtrek. Because only that one, if I, if I remember correctly, only that one can be returned to the Firekeeper. No, I wanted to go the other way. That's annoying. One more. Excuse me. So that leads into the lower level of the museum, I guess it would be, that we were in the rafters earlier on in Anor Londo when we first arrived. This leads us to a somewhat secret bonfire. Boosts miracles. No use to us. That's another one of the ones that can be warped to. Actually, we'll go back to Firelink. We'll restore our Firekeeper before we go to the next. Fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Was that your doing? Yes. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This light of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Gee, thanks. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> yes, he is very prepared, isn't he? We'll see him again shortly. Whereas before she couldn't talk. Thank you. I am Anastasia of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. So yeah, she she can talk, but she doesn't much to say. Oh, 
we'll go to the secret area of the game that you needed to go back to your cell. If you remember when we went back to the asylum, we picked up a plain doll. It's a plain doll. Peculiar doll, that's what it's plain doll's bloodborne. Without that item, you can't access the secret area. So this room is full of those painting guardians. Unfortunately, they're not particularly tough, but there is quite a few of them. Generally, if you see a, an enemy with a small shield like that, it means they can and will parry you. And they can backstab you, so you need to be aware of that. That's, that means that I've tried to pick up an item that I've got full inventory of, which means I'll be throwing knives. Because while I was farming up some humanity and souls, I decided to spend them on something, which basically meant wasting it on all the consumables I could find. More throwing knives than I know what to do with. Can't parry heavy attacks. Examine the painting. You don't have to fight the enemies in that room, you can just run past them all. But that's likely to lead to a, a backstabbing that you'll be most happy with. Excellent. So welcome to the painted world, painted world of Ariamis. I think we'll just leave it off for that episode here. It'll probably take a whole episode to get through. I do plan on exploiting my way through this, though I don't plan on spending much longer in here than I have to. So, thanks for checking out the video. I've been Kev with Fair City Gaming. Be sure to check out the website, it's fcpod.net, for all the articles and podcasts. And a little bit of something for everyone there. So, I'll see you next time. Cheers!